What's up guys? I'm just a gamer and I'm back with another reaction video. Uh today is Capcom showcase and I had actually recorded my complete reaction to the showcase, but for whatever reason my computer was just not having it. And um like for almost the entirety first half of the showcase, like it was just laggy in the resolution and in fact uh it was pretty much like that throughout the entirety of me, me watching the showcase, but it got better near the end, which I guess is I'm glad about, but at the same time, it's like whatever. So yeah, this video here, or that I'm going to, this video here is going to be my reaction basically just to the Resident Evil portion, because that portion actually came out the best, even though it's still like the resolution is not that good and you can totally see frame dip. Uh, frame rate dips in it so again i'm really pissed about that but yeah so i I'm, i mean i am glad that at least this last portion came out better looking than the first half because as bad as this this uh video you're gonna see looks the first half of the capcom showcase was even worse so again i apologize for not putting up the entire showcase it was just it was just way too laggy and it was just way too bad but yeah I'm sorry about that, but I really do hope you'll continue watching. But uh, yeah, please enjoy my reaction to the Resident Evil section of the Capcom Showcase. Thank you for your support. The Resident Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. We want longtime fans and people who are new to Resident Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Let's start with this video. Sixteen years after he left. Whoa! So they're starting straight up with spoilers. Holy cow. Off the bat with spoilers. Why? <laughs> Whoa, so wow, they were winning straight into it. She's back in the castle? It's the manifestation of your power. Or is it that lady's daughter? Is it the lady's daughter? The one that she was trying to revive the whole time? I'm sorry for talking over that. But yeah, is was that uh, Maria's daughter? Cool. I know a lot of people that are going to be happy with that one. Oh, snap! Third person mode. That's cool. <laughs> reverse literally got a screenshot and that's it they did not go into reverse at all that's hilarious oh my god that is hilarious we think this new experience will be worth the wait this dlc includes three major features first the third person mode many people asked for this and we were able to add it into the game now you'll be able to see that's amazing who desperately fights for survival players that have already experienced ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and animations too oh god the resolution so bad yeah. i'm so angry at this my computer right now 
hordes of enemies, new stages are included, as well as additional playable characters, such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. We've really fueled this mode up. Enjoy looking down on your phones from over nine feet above, as Lady Dimitrescu... <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. I like how they emphasize that. The third edition is one you've surely been waiting for. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying power she was born with. To break free of the curse of her powers, she enters the consciousness of the Megamycete. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. In this mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. Shadows of Rose is set completely in a third-person perspective. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only face creatures, but the world itself seems to be attacking you. Enjoy the horror of the world itself being your greatest enemy. How Whoa. will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? Okay, they need to show her powers to make us understand why she wants to get rid of them. I just got it. Winters expansion. It's coming out in winter, and his Ethan's last name is Winters. Wow, they did not go into reverse at all. They were literally like, "Yep, reverse. It's there. Bye." <laughs> experience worthy of next gen in Resident Evil Village. So look forward to future announcements. Up next, a game that was announced just a few days ago. Oh yeah, here we go. Now the question is, will they show more? Or will they just show the, the same trailer and that's it? That's the question. So far it's looking like the exact same thing. But again, that could just be them showing the trailer first and then going into it. So far, it looks the same. Guess you, me, we're due on this budget vacation, eh? It's like Lois. Yeah, so far the exact same trailer. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Yay. If I could just oh. Oh. They're showing Leon's whole face now. Ooh, that's this new. Time, it can be different. Oh, this is new too. This is a different shot. It has to. Oh. 
Oh, nice. Okay, so we got two new shots at the end of the trailer. Look at Leon's face. Let me move. At least you can see the guy's face for a minute. Ah, oh, he went away that quick. Okay. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches. Yeah, but one of the things I loved about the original was Leon's attitude. We'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past Yeah, but is he cocky? Because that's what I liked about him, too. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. Oh, here we go. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous... Very different. The opening look, the opening woods look very different. Knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Future announcements, where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S. Oh man, it looks like that's all we get. The release date will be March I mean, still, it's better than nothing, but uh, I wish they delve a little bit more, showed at least a, some combat, Resident some shooting. Everyone can enjoy, so please look forward to it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. about the latest information on Resident Evil Village. Still, I'm Resident I'm Evil happy with it, I guess, but I wish they would have shown a bit more. I'm actually more surprised by the DLC for Village, Rose, The Shadow of Rose. The following games. What? Are these coming to next gen, I guess, I'm assuming? Next gen upgrades? Yeah, there we go. Seven, two, and three. Wait, 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 wait. What is this music? I do not remember this music being in Resident Evil 2 at all. Like, is it in the credits? Because even in the credits, I don't remember that happening in the credits. Was it in the credits? No, I don't. What is this music? Okay, this one I can believe a bit more. But that first one, what for two? The music for two, where the hell did that come from? Yep, there we go. Latest generation. Nice. In addition, cool, 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 cool. Xbox One players can enjoy a free digital. Oh, even better. I. Digital upgrade program and smart delivery. I think I had it. PC users and update. I can't remember if I had it on digital or if I had it on disc. For newcomers and veterans of survival horror alike, we hope you enjoy.
Enjoy the immersion these new versions offer. God, the frame rate just dropped for me because of this gosh darn computer, man. Welcome to the family. <laughs> that's all for today's announcement. Oh, okay, it looks like that's it. Thank you. All right, that was my reaction to the Resident Evil portion of the Capcom showcase. As you saw, the resolution and the frame rate were just they were not that great but imagine it being like it was even worse in the first half of the showcase so that's why i'm not bothering to show it because it was just too horrible and too bad but my thoughts on the showcase overall were eh, it could have been better i mean monster hunter sunbreak was great no qualms about that really cool i'm glad they're going to the same they're doing the same thing they did with world or uh with the uh, updates and title title updates and all that i'm glad with that really good I was actually super surprised that we didn't really get any Street Fighter. We just got like maybe like a minute of them saying, hey, we got more updates later this year. I was sure we'd see a new character. I was like for dang sure we would see at least a brand new character announced at this at their showcase. Um, but yeah, Exo Primal, yeah, what I I mean, maybe I'll check it out. I gotta I gotta see what other people say. But Overall, it could have been better. I did enjoy the Resident Evil stuff. Like, despite seeing a little bit more of 4, it was that was not enough for me. I mean, you could have shown at least some combat. Maybe, like, him going up to the first house, you know, fighting the first enemy, and then just cutting it there. But they barely showed even that. They just showed basically the environment. That was it. I was more surprised by the DLC for Village, uh... Freaking the Shadow of Rose, that looks super cool, super interesting. But yeah, again, <laughs> that's all. Uh, I feel like overall the showcase, it could have been better. But yeah, those are my thoughts. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or comment down below. I'd appreciate any all feedback. Follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, take care and have a good game.